Hey guys, Zelos from Deathhead Gaming here, and I've worked out something cool on the Portal 2 editor. Um, logic gates. So, how this works is, this is the output device, the excursion funnel, which is off. Now, when you hit that button, it'll turn this laser on for a few seconds, which will power this. That could be set to one second, it would be enough, but I just couldn't be bothered playing with the delays. This will turn on that, which will then in turn power this relay down here. The relay will then power that. Now this, th there's two ways of creating a latch. This one does not delay the circuit, so you get an instant response. The other way is involving an er excursion funnel and a button and a cube. Um, but that'll have a small delay on it. Uh, so that's this, uh, which is connected to that. So if I hit this, it powers that, which turns on that, which then turns on that, which turns on that. So as you see, oh, other way around, as you see, that turns on, then it burns out, and that one burns out too, but because that one's powering itself, it stays on. Um, and that stays on. AND gates are easy, because they were included in the game by default, just connect two buttons to one device. Uh, this is an OR gate. It's just four lasers pointing at a laser relay. So, that turns that on. You probably want to remove the delays on these buttons. So does that button. This button. Each one of these buttons is connected to one of the lasers. And that controls the dropping from the relay. This could be used to create a latch, but here I've used it to create an uncontrollable delay. I'll show you how to control a delay later on. So you drop the cube down here, and it floats along. It hits this, and it latches it, so it works like a latch, but it also works like a delay, and there's a cube that just dropped. This is the same latch at the other end, but it's resettable. This could actually be moved a block forwards, but it doesn't really matter. So it's the same idea. This laser hits this, which turns on that, which turns on this, which then turns on that. The difference here is there's a button to block the laser powering itself, that laser there. So, the button to block it powering itself just doesn't work unless the thing's on, just to stop movement. I need to turn the delay on that off. So, this powers it up. It's all on. It's good. Now we've got an AND gate connected to a floor panel there, so that AND this button powers that up and it immediately drops back down. It's connected in an AND gate so it drops straight back down immediately. Now this, this is probably the most complicated thing I've done, so... Let's turn cheats on and then no clip. Uh, right, so it's a button this is a delay that's controllable by how long this button's on for. However long that button's on for is however long this laser's on, which powers...